Hey, what's up, y'all? Super easy. Grandma's chicken and dumplings. But grandma made the homemade dumplings. I'm going to do it the new era way. I'm using biscuits. All these years, I've been making homemade dumplings. Never again. Simple, easy chicken and dumplings. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. And guess what? We about to get straight to it. I got y'all. I promise. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead with Bob. Let's go ahead here about three tablespoons of butter, okay? Go ahead, I had some butter already melted. Three, about three, four tablespoons of butter. Let's go in with our butter, baby. Then we're going straight in there with our, our onions, white or yellow onion, one small onion chop, two stalks of celery chop. And I know a lot of y'all don't have bell pepper and y'all chicken and dumplings. But I'm about to add it in mine. Ooh, we they gotta know. Cause if they don't know, now they know. They better ask somebody. They better ask somebody. How many people have shared the video? Sharing is caring. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's go. So we're gonna stir this around and we're gonna let this get all nice and um, we're gonna let it get a little translucent, not too much. We're gonna get this butter infused, so that's butter gonna run that flavor of them carrot, them um, bell pepper, celery, and onions all through the pot. Let's get ready to drop it like it's hot. I got y'all. I promise. Here with two big old cloves of garlic. Ain't nothing like fresh garlic. Ain't nothing like that garlic. That's gonna. That's a whole flavor profile by itself. Y'all, somebody get in here and look at Chef Garlic. Somebody get in here and look at. Y'all see that? Push it through, Chef. Push it through. See that? We're gonna push it on through. Push through, Chef. Push through. We got one more piece. One more piece. Y'all get in here and look at that the garlic. Look at that freshness. Look at that seasonings in them herbs. We're gonna need all that, y'all. Shout if you don't know, we're gonna need all that. Okay? So now we got our garlic. Let's get all that. We need all that. Okay, so now we're gonna take, we're gonna stir the pot. Chef, they say stir the pot. Chef, they say stir the pot. So we're gonna stir the pot. Stir the pot, Chef. I'm gonna do what mama used to do. Mama used to drop a whole stem of rosemary straight down in that pot. Just like that down. Get all that rosemary infused. Get all your herbs. And everything stirred around and infused in your pot. Y'all see how simple and easy that is? Next thing we're gonna do, let's go and let's get in there. That's that one whole quart of chicken broth. One whole quart. Oh wee! That ain't nothing but flavor, chef. That ain't nothing but flavor. Y'all better come through. Y'all got to come through. That's one quart. Chef, put another one in there. I, I double dog that. Y'all bet you won't put another quart in there. Yes, I will. I sure will. And I sure am. Oh, wait. That's going to be mighty delicious, Chef. It's going to be mighty delicious and nutritious. We need to win it up with two quarts. I only think of you on two occasions. What's that? That's day. And night. Okay, so we have our stock in there. Next thing we're gonna go in there, guys, we're gonna start seasoning our pot. Let's go in there with a little, little onion and garlic, granulated onion and garlic, and you know you gotta have black pepper. Black pepper make it all better, y'all. Black pepper make it more better. More better cheddar. All right, so we're gonna stir this down. All right, we're gonna let this come to a simmer. And we're gonna drop everything else like it hot. All right, guys, let's get in this pot. Let's just stir the pot for a while. Let's stir the pot while it's getting hot. Just put it in my hand, Chef. Just put some of that, that pot liquor in my hand. Let me taste it. Man. Man. That just, now that needs just a little more help. Better than chicken bouillon mixed with better than veggie bouillon. Let's go in there. Let's get in there. Yeah, chef. Let's get in there. Big girl, can you back it up? Ah. 
Can you back it up? So I went in with a whole heap of tablespoon of better than bouillon vegetable um, seasoning. Okay, next thing we're gonna do, I'm going in the pot with two cans of cream of celery. Not cream of chicken. I know everybody like to put cream of chicken in that chicken and dumplings. Chicken a little bit, chicken enough. We're going in with that cheap cream of celery because that's gonna hit a little different. That cream of celery gonna hit a little different. We're going in there with two cans. Not one or two. I only think of you on two occasions. What's that? That's the day and night. So we're going in there with two cans. Okay? And we're going to get in here. We're going to stir it around. And we're going to let all this goodness come to a simmer. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. I got y'all. I promise. The best biscuits in the world for chicken and dumplings is Grand's Biscuits. So let's get it, let's go. We're not making homemade dumplings. I ain't never making homemade dumplings again. All my life I made homemade dumplings. I ain't gonna be able to do that no more. I should have never tried it with biscuits. Okay, so we got our biscuits here. Drop them on our cutting board. Gonna spread them out. It don't matter, just throw them anywhere. Throw them in a circle, okay? Now, I probably need a little flour on this cutting board. Let's see if they're going to stick. They start sticking and cutting up. Now, they're doing pretty good. Now, I like to roll them out extra thin. Like, um, um, flattening out some dumplings, okay? And this is where the fun part comes. Hold on, hold the mutant to the Ninja Turtle. Let me grab my pizza cutter. Pizza cutter, so we're back. And we're just going to simply go in here. Roll, roll, roll your dough gently down the street. Merrily, 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 merrily. Shell Carmen is such a tree. And drop them like they hot. Don't drop them like they hot. Drop them like they hot. Just gonna drop them all in the pot. How simple and easy is that? How simple? Roll, roll, roll your dough. Gently down the street. Merrily, 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 merrily. Chef Carmen is such a treat. All right. Come on, Carmen. Come on, Chef. You know you got a pizza cutter. You know you got a roll. Because this is how Chef roll. It's how she roll. It's how she roll. It's how she roll. And then we're going to drop them in the pot. We're going to just drop them like they hot. And like a pimp, trying to get at you and drop them in the pot. Drop them in the pot. Hurry up, Chef. Um, H-E-B, Walmart, Kroger, Publix, any store other than Costco or Sam's. You're going to need two rotisserie chickens. See this right here? That's a small rotisserie chicken. Sam's and Costco chicken be double that chicken. Y'all know I ain't lying. Tell the truth and shame the devil. So I've already pulled one rotisserie chicken. And we're gonna drop it straight in our pot. And like I'm trying to get at you and drop it like it's hot. Gonna drop it. And it's gonna shred itself. And it's gonna get tender and juicy like Lucy. And it's gonna melt in your mouth like butter, baby. Chicken, extra chicken, chef. Okay, so I'm, I'm, this ain't enough chicken. Not for all them dumplings. It is not enough chicken. Chef, your pot ain't big enough. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. I bet you we're going to add some more chicken. Okay, so let's get back over here. So, truth be told, what we're going to do, we need at least the breast of another chicken to equal that. So, we're not going to need this whole chicken. So, I'm just going to tear the breast apart. And I don't put skin in mine. If you want skin in yours, you can put skin in yours. But I ain't going to be able to do it. I ain't going to be able to do it. We're going to, we're going to snatch that, bre that breast meat straight out of that chicken, though. We're going to snatch that breast meat, and then I'm going to take, I'm going to simply pull that apart, just like that there. I'm going to pull that apart, just shred it up, Chef. Y'all see that? Somebody get in here. Somebody get in here and look at Chef doing. 
She said the chickens at Sam's and Costco's is bigger than H-E-B, Walmart, and Kroger put together. That's what Chef said. I'm just telling you what Chef said. Y'all know Chef be playing. But I, I think I believe it this time. I think I believe what she said. I think she's telling the truth and shining the devil. All right, y'all. Let's go back in the pot with it. Let's, let, let's go back in the pot with it. Add some more chicken in there, Chef. All right, we're going to let this simmer. And we're going to come back and add our cream. And we're going to thicken it up. Simple and easy. Homemade chicken and dumplings. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. I got y'all. I promise. All right, some chicken thighs is listen, looking too good to leave them over there in that rotisserie container. Y'all love thigh meat. Drop me like it's hot, Chef. <coughs> I love that thigh meat. Put both thighs in there, Chef. Ooh, wait, y'all see that? Somebody get in here and look at Chef. Somebody get in here and look at, look at, look at all that chicken. Look at all that chicken. Look at all that chicken. Lord Jesus. Lord have mercy. That dang old Chef, boy. Chef off the chain. Y'all see that chicken. Y'all see it. All right, guys, let's go in it with about a half a cup of heavy cream. Let's get in here and let's stir that around. And usually, you can take some cornstarch and thicken your dumplings up. If you like the consistency of where it is right now, don't thicken it. I'm not going to thicken this. This is like perfect. You know, it may be a little loose for some people, but it's perfect for me. So if your dumplings are too loose at this point, you can just take some water and cornstarch. And you can thicken them up, okay? But I don't think I'm going to do nothing. I might change my mind. So let's go in here with some fresh chopped parsley. Let's go in there with a little parsley. A little parsley. Add a little parsley to the party. Y'all see that? Somebody get in here. Somebody get in here. How good does that look? Cracker barrel. Who? They're going to know. They're going to know. Look at this. Look at this. I know I play too much. Look at this. Look at God. Won't he do it? Look at it. Come through. Chicken and dumplings. Cracker Barrel. Who? They're gonna know, Sha. They're gonna know. Look how good that look. You don't see that? You don't see that? Simple and easy. Homemade chicken and dumplings. I ain't nothing to it but to do it. I got y'all. I promise. All right, y'all see this? Now, if you want it a little tighter than this, I love a little looseness to my chicken and dumplings. Sometimes I go to Cracker Barrel and them, them places and I get my chicken and dumplings, and they be like mashed potatoes. They don't have no liquid in it. Y'all, somebody get in here and look at Chef. Chicken and dumplings. Somebody get in here and look at that. Y'all see that? All right. Let me blow them. Y'all know they hot. Tired of burning the roof of my mouth. Let somebody else do it. Man, I got y'all. I promise.